In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden that really not very many people are utilizing, but it is an incredible concept. And it comes to a start of the tight slots halfback week. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is the four verticals concept. This concept has been one of the best plays in Madden for years, and it continues to be in this year's game. Now, we're going to show you kind of a concept from Madden 13. is actually when I first started playing Madden pretty seriously, or Madden 12, I guess. But um, this play is absolutely incredible at attacking both man coverage and zone coverage, and it really stretches the field both horizontally as well as vertically now if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook make sure that you become a patreon member it's only ten dollars to do so and it's going to get you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks all right guys so we're in the colts playbook here and we're going over four verticals here out of tight slots halfback week and the setup's actually really simple all we're going to do with this play is we are simply going to take this left side receiver which is harold carmichael we're going to put him on a post route we're then going to take aj green you could do one of three different setups you can put him on a hitch you can put him on an in route you could put him on a drag and technically you could also if you wanted to put him on a streak but i really like to just simply put him on uh, a little five yard in or a drag route um, for for this play and then with the running back, what I typically do is just block the running back here. So you see here, this is what the player looks like. This play is absolutely incredible against man coverage. Your post route's going to cook man coverage over the middle of the field. Your wheel routes are snap throw reads uh, on this play, and I'll show you how to throw those against man here in just a second. But what you'll see is this post is really your main read against man. Um, and that's why if they are running a lot of man coverage, one of the things that you might do with this play is um, go ahead and – put this guy on a slant route so you have kind of a slant post concept which we know those are really good against man coverage so we could throw that uh typically against man coverage just like that if you were to put this guy on a slant then you could take the running back and put him on an in route which is kind of an underrated uh route combo because typically what people will do is they'll man up that outside corner on the running back he'll out leverage him across the middle of the field um you know so you can do stuff like that another concept that you can do if you wanted to would be something like this right here. Um, and you're still utilizing, you know, a wheel route from at least one of your guys. But the wheel routes are so, so good in this game. Um, they just really do a great job of spacing the field horizontally. And what they do is they stretch these zones uh, out of the way. So that leads me to kind of like what we want to do against zone coverage with this. So like, let's say they're playing cover four drop shade down, shade down hard flats or whatever. What you want to do in this right here is really your drag. It's basically a shallow cross concept. And essentially what we're looking at is if the zones go to, if the yellow zones on the field, if they go to the drag or if they go to the post. So if they go to the drag, your uh, post is going to be wide open. If they go to the post, your drag is going to be open. So right, right here, they go to the post. I could throw that drag in that window all day long. And we don't have to worry about hard flats, purples. We don't have to worry about any of that. We're just worrying about yellow zones. Now, this is the perfect play for somebody that wants to run any kind of double Mabel coverage because their user is going to be stuck in the middle of the field, right? So if their user is, is, uh, is stuck in the middle of the field here, then what this means is now, you'll see here, I'm the user in the middle of the field. Now I have to make a decision. Am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard the slant? This is also why against zone, you can uh, make an argument that putting this guy on a hitch is really, really, really good and leaving the running back on his route is really good against uh, like double Mabel because you're going to just sit in the seams. You'll see right here. It's like you see the user literally can't use her, the two the two hitches and the post. There's just no way that they could stop that. So you could, you could easily do that if they're running a lot of double Mabel uh, zone. But the other thing I want to show you is how this play works specifically against, you know, just kind of standard zone if they're using in the middle of the field. So you see here is the setup. And what you'll see is this yellow zone drops back. Okay, I could throw that. It's really that simple. And again, if they drop back yellows, then you just throw that drag route underneath it every single time. And so what this causes is it causes people to have to go into shaded down cover two. And shaded down cover two, if you take a look at this, we're going to have some options against that as well. So what you can do against shade down cover two, here it is. You see here, I can typically still throw this in front of the yellow zones. I'm um, not going to lie. You that, that drag route becomes like almost unstoppable against yellow zones. It's really, 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 really powerful um, against yellow zones. Let me um, let me go down to 3-3 Cub and show you like vert hooks, shaded down vert hooks, 
hard flats, right? Like doing everything we can uh, to try to get underneath on this. And it's just not super easy. And so you could throw, see, see how I can still fit it in. Even though it's only five yards, I can still fit it in. So what this does is it leads to an alternate setup that I actually really, really like uh, out of this. When they start to kind of start to sh you know shade down underneath and they start to play a lot of cover two and stuff, what I like to do with this play is instead of a drag, now we're just going to post this left side receiver and we're gonna have that seam streak to AJ Green. What this is gonna do is it gets that shade down stuff. Now you can highball this in the seam, as you can see right there. And so it's gonna appear kind of the same but then you're hitting them in the same area uh, with, a, with a streak. And then the beauty of that is, let's say, for example, that they, you know, maybe you do something like this, whoops, uh, with the running back streak here to the backfield. Now what you have is you have a lot of capability to be able to hit the seams in different pockets. And also these cloud flats on the outside, they're going to match the wheel routes typically uh, if they do have their match coverage on. So that's just something else to kind of note. But this play is so good. Um, if you wanted to, another thing you could do with this is you could take the running back and kind of utilize him as well. So maybe put the running back on like a streak so you can attack the seam on the back end of this. That's an option. Um, if you were to do that, though, you see how these routes are running into one another, then you'd probably want to hitch A.J. Green over here on the right. And then you could playmaker him across the middle of the field after the running back kind of goes on his route. Uh, but the beauty of this, too, is that is open late against cover two especially if you have that running back on a streak this is one of the best plays in the game i think the very slept on little concept here out of out of this it kind of is reminiscent of pat's will drag one of the best plays in Madden history from madden 13. uh warhawk literally ran that play i think every single play and uh just it was so hard to hard to defend so if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.